When sections of the Earth's surface move, tremendous devastation in the form of an earthquake can result. When a severe earthquake occurs near a city or town, buildings may collapse and people inside injured or killed. The Earth's crust floats above a swirling mantle of molten magma that can be glimpsed as lava flows from volcanoes. This slowly moving magma drags the surface with it forcing it to crack along the lines of weakness we call fault lines, like the clearly visible San Andreas Fault in California. A map registering earthquake occurrence over the past 50 years clearly reveals the global pattern of fault lines. A line sweeping through Indonesia and up through Asia shows particularly heavy activity. In late 2004, the fault line between the Indian and Burmese plates moved. This was beneath the ocean, just north of Sumatra. The rapid upthrust caused a compression wave, resulting in the Indian Ocean tsunami. It remains one of the most deadly natural disasters in recorded history. The wave spread quickly across the Indian Ocean, with Indonesia, Thailand, Sri Lanka and India being the hardest hit. In deep water, the wave appeared as nothing more than a peculiar ripple. Ships in mid-ocean were not affected. The 30-metre wave killed close to 230,000 people across 14 countries. The speed of the Earth's movement and the length over which it moved made the earthquake that triggered the tsunami among the top three most severe quakes ever recorded.